I render down all my wax um, at the end of the season after all the work is done. I get my uh, employees to uh, send the wax through the first time. It just uh, it helps recapture some labor cost at the end of the year. Um, what we do is throughout the year is we fill up these drums uh, with the wax cappings that come from the, the spinner. Uh, we cover it with that plastic just to keep the, uh, the fruit flies out. Um, the wax is shoveled from the drums into the, uh, the melter. All it is is a Cowan water jacket sump with a heater at the bottom. I have it set at 195 degrees Fahrenheit, nice and hot, so we get a good first melt. So they shovel the wax in and let it just melt. Uh, the honey settles in the bottom, uh, the slum within, and then the wax on the top of the wax is poured out through this tap. We tap off the honey, then we tap off the wax and we send it through that little strainer just to help keep some of the slum out of the first melt. Pour the wax into our, our, um, our settling tubs here. Uh, this wax is a little bit dirty yet with slum and bits of honey in it yet. So we will send this through uh, a second time after we've done the first render um, to take all the honey out and all the slum so we'll have uh, pure wax blocks at the end. Uh, in after we're uh, tapping off all the wax, we scoop out the slum. I don't deal with that. This is pretty wet yet. I'll take it to a neighbor. He'll extract the rest of the wax out of that. So it's a pretty simple setup, pretty basic, and it's what 